Hi, today I want to show you how easy it is to plan your hiking trip uh, using uh, Google Earth. So let's say you're planning to go on holidays, let's say to Morocco. So we're gonna zoom in. So let's say you wanna go to this part of Morocco, there, tourist. Okay. Uh, so you see that uh, it's quite uh, vertiginous, and uh, you're gonna make sure you know uh, the elevation of. Uh, you of your hiking trip before uh, before leaving the hotel. So let's say this is your starting point there, and uh, you want to know how how steep the hills are. Uh, so what you got to do is to uh, click on this icon there, the path icon. So you can give a name to your path. Let's call it Morocco. Hiking trip. Okay. And you just have to start clicking on uh, on your screen using the left uh, button uh, of your mouse. Down the path you're planning to uh, to take for your hiking trip. Okay. So roughly, let's say you want to do this, then you want to do that, and you come back to where you're staying during your vacation. So once you have done that, you can choose to um, give us time to, to your path, so you can uh, reduce uh, the width if you wish. Or you can increase it so it was fine. Let's put four. You can change the color. Let's put a green color. And uh, you can also, if you want, you can change the measurements. Uh, you can uh, set it uh, on kilometers, meters, miles, whatever. So let's keep kilometers. Uh, you can also uh, add an image so you can for example go on google images type in hiking trip in morocco you get these images there you can pick uh, anyone you want so let's pick this one uh, copy image url and we'll put it there okay okay so now uh, if you want to discover how steep is uh, are the hills and uh, the path you're planning to take, all you got to do is to right-click on uh, your path and you click at the bottom on Show Elevation Profile and there you get the elevation of uh, the path you're planning to take. There, here at, uh, at the top uh, of the window that came up, you can see the uh, lowest elevation 1059 meters the average 1154 meters and the maximum uh, you're gonna meet uh, during your, your trip which is, uh, which is 1222 meters so you can uh, if you want get closer to have a better understanding of uh, what are you gonna do? You can set the direction like that, and as you sliding over uh, the the elevation profile, you can move around with the with the arrow keys uh, of your keyboard to follow uh, that uh, red arrow. Uh, showing the profile. Okay. So sometimes to understand your uh, environment, you can then zoom in and zoom out and so on. 
or let's say that for example you want to see where is it going to be the highest altitude uh, of your trip you can then zoom in and uh, have another view of uh, what's around there And then you can go back home. So that's also useful uh, for urban planning people if they want to. If they're planning, for example, to build a railway uh, near a, a given road, uh, and it has many other applications. And so, if you click on the uh, anywhere on your path, you'll see uh, that image you uh, imported from uh, Google Images. So, I hope that uh, you like this presentation, and uh, thank you for doing it, and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.